one of the most common scenarios we and we're going to be talking about the Cairo. You're going to get drunk that way. By all means, do it. Key Wine State. We drink responsibly. Full disclosure, I had a great video set up yesterday that was tying into my cigar video. You saw that I was still smoking it. However, there was so much background noise, thanks in part to my dog just constantly barking, that it pretty much made the video unwatchable, at least to my standards. So, here I am reshooting it. Today I'm reviewing between the Basil Hayden's Kentucky Bourbon. Now, this was given to me as a anniversary gift from my fiance. Uh, we've been together for four years, and this was a surprise because she knows I'm a big whiskey drinker, and she also knows that I like trying new ones. And well, she went out. Went to a Bevmo, talked to a one of the people there, and they recommended this. Lo and behold, this is what I got for our anniversary gift. Now a little bit about Basil Hayden. Uh, they are not the, the oldest bourbon makers in America, but they are one of them, easily. I mean, this was made back when Kentucky, well, the company, not the bottle, obviously. Uh, Basil Hayden's was around at, since George Washington was our president, and Kentucky was just four years old. Kind of funny, since that's also what my anniversary was. Anyways, as you can tell, I like this stuff. And... I think this is a great, great bourbon. Uh, for starters, I mean, this is actually very unique. I've never seen a, I don't know what you would call that, it kind of reminds me of like an apron almost design with how it just looks like that. I mean, it's, and then it's got this sweet little piece of, I think this is balsa wood with a little bit within uh, this metal band right here with their initials. I think that just looks really cool. It makes it stand out on a shelf, which, you know, it's kind of tough because a lot of bottles do tend to stand out because you're just like, hey, look at that one. So, yeah, this is a really good bourbon. It's owned by Jim Beam. It's under their uh, small batch uh, line, which... Uh, I can't remember what the other ones are in that group at this moment, so okay. I'll have to I'll put I'll put that down in the description. Yeah, what's unique also about this is that this uses anywhere from two to three times more rye in their recipe than their other uh, whiskeys. Now, rye helps it make it very smooth. It gives it a very sweet taste. So, enough about that. Let's try it. I love being able to do that though. That's why I love having a cork in my bottle. I'm just gonna put a little bit in. And, like I said, I prefer to have a little bit of water with it because I've already had some. I know that it tastes way better with just like a spoonful of water. It helps the flavor and the smell out. 
Okay, first looks at it. I mean, obviously there's two big differences between what's in the bottle and what's in here. The bottle, it's very dark, dark, dark. I want to say that looks like burnt caramel. And this right here, you know, pretty much it's like a lighter shade of that. Now the smell. It smells like spicy and fruity. You know what? It kind of reminds me of figs and plums. I don't know why. But, you know, that's what I'm getting from this. Figs, plums, spices, fruity sweetness. Now normally I'm not a big fan of fruity flavored drinks or smells just because I usually too sweet for me. However, I think this does it very well. It balances it out. It makes it taste amazing. Which is what we're going to be doing right now. Mm. Uh, the spices right there are slowly and it builds up very quickly and that makes it have like a really great taste to it plus it is very easy to, to drink it's very smooth I mean it's not the smoothest I've ever had but it is up there it is way up there I mean you know maybe if your your palate is more towards the uh, mm. I can take the burn you could probably drink this without water I mean I probably could but then again I don't know I just like having my bourbon slightly diluted. Remember, use cold water, not ice. Ice is bad, even though it does look good. But anyways, this is a very good bourbon. I would highly recommend this to anyone, and thank you again to my beautiful fiance for getting me this bottle. It's going to stay stocked in my personal liquor cabinet easily. So yeah, uh, you know what, I hope you all enjoyed this video, again, I'm sorry, my other video was way better, it tied in so much better with the cigar review I just did yesterday, but it got deleted somehow, I'm not sure what happened, so, here I am having to redo this, anyways. I'm still Dylan, and you're watching Whiskey Wednesday. Please drink responsibility. Oh. Take care.